Hey friends, welcome to Runaway Trains. Today we paid a visit to our local original whistle stop train store and to our surprise they had a whole bunch of cool used and vintage HO scale stuff wrapped in boxes and and as always they had really reasonable prices and we just couldn't resist. We were coming home with something. And I know it's the holiday season, and I say this every year, that around Thanksgiving, you got to stop buying stuff because there's always somebody who wants to gift you something nice for the holidays related to trains. So we always stop buying stuff until after the new year. But this was too good to pass up. You can see all these wonderful boxes here of stuff. We did come home with something, and we'll show you what we got. All right, we're back from our haul, and let's see what we got in the bag today. We saw quite a few HO items there, really priced well. We got this wonderful Lionel HO Burlington Northern locomotive, 15 bucks. What type of engine is that? This is a Burlington GP30. GP30, all right, let's put that one here. Uh, we got a couple things, you know, we're completing our runaway train. We need another engine, so we're going to take one of these. These were like a matching uh, set of locos, the same road number and everything, 181. We're going to take one of them. We're going to keep it. The other one, we're going to paint the snow on it for our runaway train from the 1985 runaway train movie. And then finally, we got this really cool, was this an RS3? Or two. Or RS2. It's an Alco locomotive. We really like this style and it's unpainted. So we're going to go ahead and decide what road uh, we want to make this. You know, in New Jersey Central, they had these. I love that, seeing those as a kid. And maybe we can decide what road we want to make this loco. But let's go ahead and put that one here. So here's our haul from. The wonderful Whistle Stop, Pasadena, California. The original Whistle Stop. So we'll go ahead, we'll open these. We'll put them on the layout, see if they run. I mean, 15 bucks, fingers crossed. They are DC, nothing special really. They look like vintage Lionel. Lionel HOs. Lionel HOs. So we'll get them open, try them out. And the Alco. It's an RS3. <laughs> it is? Mm -hmm. What kind of couplers did this come with? Uh, came with uh, knuckle couplers. Knuckle couplers, great. I don't know. When I see knuckle couplers, I automatically think you know better quality. I may be wrong about that. People can trade out. The horn hooks, I suppose, but the hand, a couple handrails are just popping out right now. Yeah, just turn it over in your hand. That's probably the best. I mean, it was kept in the box nice, at least. Somebody put bubble wrap down there in the bottom. Looks like maybe it was taken care of. There we go. Let's pop that out. With the RS3s, I love that single vent at the front. And it has that two horns. That rectangular smokestack. What do we got? Horn More horn there. There's and a, a horn there. Probably uh, Leslie A200s, I bet you. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go put that on the layout right now. Uh, Let's put it on the tracks. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I grew up with that sound. Sorry, guys. The, the shell is kind of a little loose on top. That's fine. It's kind of a little loose. Okay, moment of truth here. Yes, I see a little bit of movement there. Actually, nice. Sounds like it's it, got a flywheel motor. It has directional headlights. Yeah. Directional lighting. Wow, that's a great runner.
we were talking about how before the holidays you don't want to spend any money on trains because somebody's bound to get you some type of train gift and we went past our little christmas village over here and it made me think of that you know we went to the train store today we were just like no we're not going to buy anything we're just going to look we're just going to look and somebody had brought in a whole bunch of ho stuff and i don't know what to tell you we we just couldn't resist we had to get this here's one of the burlington northerns we're going to kind of spin it around and, and see it a little bit better what's underneath let's take a look at the bottom let's, let's see this is a, a lionel I, I don't really know much i hear something rattling around in there i don't know what that is maybe there's a crew member that fell out of his chair or something <laughs> Looks like this. I think it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Let's put it Maybe on the track. Maybe somebody uh, forgot to take their screwdriver out of it or something. But we're going to get this one on the rails and give it a little power and see what it does. Here we go. Three, two, one. It does a reverse. Yeah, it does a little bit of reverse. Oh, look at this. Hey, we got lucky. Man. We got lucky today. Has a little trouble. Had a little trouble right there. You know, but if we can paint that one up for our runaway train, I don't mind if it runs a little rough. It's just, just a one-off train for fun. Let's back it into the yard again. There we go. Let's get the other one out and uh, check it out. So what's it, what did you just say? I have high hopes for this one. I hope this one works too. All right, we're gonna bring that one right over here. Same one as the other one. Yeah. Maybe this is like the sister engine. Or brother. Or the brother. And it's the same engine, so. So whichever one runs better, we'll keep it in the Burlington paint scheme. The other one we're going to paint for our runaway train. That's, that one needs a little help. It needs a little help. Yeah, that might need a little clean or something. A little rough. A little rough. And dead. All right, so we're going to end up... Track current is having, zero. We're going to open this one up and see what we can do. Let's see if it goes reverse. Yeah. Just give it a little nudge. Anything in reverse there? Eh, uh, Not really. So this one's going to need to be opened up. But that's all we wanted to show you today. Uh, we've got our RS3 and then another one of these. And just get a little a few of all three of those engines together there for a second. Not bad, you know? This is definitely my favorite right here to RS3. How about you guys? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching Runaway Trains. We'll see you guys on the next run.